Hi, I'm Nick um, from Nico's Restos in Body Hills. This is a Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew um, surfboard from 1975, which I've just finished restoring. And hey Nico, can we have a look at that rabbit that you've been restoring out the back out there? Yeah, we sure can. Apparently it's on pickup tomorrow, so we've only got a limited time for me to show everyone. Yeah, we're we'll going to have a look now, eh? That's awesome. Got more light? Let, Let there be light. That looks great. No so, Nico, we're inside your shaping shed area here. Now this is uh, the Wayne Rabbit Bar Follow Me model, but before we show the guys the model, what we want to do is I want to see the original of what the blank looked like before it started. If you can bring the bring it over the phone over here. Yeah, well, <laughs> it required a lot of work. Uh, so it in a bit closer. Wow, look at that. You bring it even closer again. Yeah, it's... So that's the bottom of the board. Um, this is what it looked like after the fiberglass was taken off. Um, you can see that it's very, very um, damaged by water and age. The logo's gone, uh, mostly gone. It's got a great big um, fin chop through here, probably a leash chop. Um, yeah, another um, fin chop in the side. So yeah, in very poor condition. Wow. And so and the, look at it now. The blank, the blank, of course, required a lot of work. Um, and so on the bottom of this board, I'll just turn it over here before we look at the top, which was plain white, except for the logo. Now I've pigmented the board with a cream pigmented resin uh, on purpose, rather than painted the bottom. And because through the pigment you can see where new pieces of foam have been put into the board to repair different places and fill um, and it gives it that lovely original um, battle scarred look without it looking too um, degenerate. Um, the logo is completely redrawn and refurbished. This is the original fin which was uh, luckily found with the board and so uh, that's been refurbished and fitted back into the original fin box. Um, on this side of the board so Before we just carry on with this, if people want to actually see the, another video, there's actually another one where we actually look at this where it's halfway through the restoration and we look at the actual artwork and stuff as it's being done. So you can check out the link uh, available there in the description and also in the cards. All right, Nico, keep on rolling, bro. Yeah. Okay, so in order for these um, graphics here to be replicated, um, so I was able to take the skin off the board and I used parts of the, uh, the skin as templates. I also had measurements for all of these, but in order to to spray, respray them, you need to have a flat surface. So once the blank was um, repaired and resanded back into a somewhat more manageable shape, board's then glassed with standard um, four ounce e cloth, e cloth, and then sanded um, to give me a nice flat surface. Um, sanded it down to a uh, 320 grit. Um, not only so that the airbrush paint will go on nice and flat, but also so that the tape that you put on there will stick to a nice flat surface and you don't get too many blow throughs. Um, and then it was a case of um, hopefully getting the colours as close as possible, spraying that on, then glass again with um, six ounce over the top of the four ounce and the graphics. That gives me something to um, to sand into and it's probably very close to what was originally on the board most likely had a six and a four on the deck and two fours on the bottom um, yeah and as you can see it's come out um, very 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 nice and um, I'm sure that the gentleman that owns the board uh, who's picking it up tomorrow will be very happy he, already, he has already told me that he has he is so Nico, just tell me what's in the bottom of these. Like everyone's using modern concaves and things. They didn't really have concave boards in those. So what 
what well, have we got here? Well, this is what they call rolled V um, through the board. It's quite pronounced and it's very, very common. For rail to rail surfing. Uh, yeah, for rail to rail surfing, especially um, with um, uh, single fin surfboards. Um, you can see that it's quite pronounced in the nose. Uh, that's to let the board come off the bottom of the wave um, without dragging its nose in the wave. So that's, that assists the rocker and actually increases the rocker on the rail compared to the centre of the board, unless the board swoop off that bottom of the wave. And then... For the initial bottom turn. Yeah, for the initial... Um, on the steepest part of the wave. And then they'll have... Um, it flattens out a little in the middle uh, because this is your planing area you want the, where you want the board to be moving quickly and then a lot more V through the tail of the board. And right at the end of the tail. Yeah, right, and for the same reason, to get that rail to rail turning happening and also to move the fast moving water away from the fin. Because spin out is a real problem and losing traction in the water from the fin. So where did you say this board come from? Uh, Gold Coast. No, I mean you are, where it actually got found. Oh, it was found at a this, uh, dump in North Sydney. At the tip. Council tip. So it would have ended up in landfill. It would have ended up in landfill. So for sure. You saved the day on the on the well, Wayne I, Rabbit. Well, I didn't, but um, certainly certainly saved the board. I don't know about saving. Uh, I've saved a few from there and from various. Quite a lot of the surfboards that come come from being found on dumps and tips and out the front of people's houses. And, right. So what's the next resto coming up? The next resto coming up is a Jerry Lopez um, pipeliner. Mm. So if we get a few comments, we might, or a few people watch this video, we might come and do that one. It's, maybe. it's a later one. It's a thruster. It's not an early original like 70s one. Okay. But, but, um, yeah. right. So where do people find you if they want to get a resto done? Um, best place is to look me up on Instagram, Nikos underscore restos. Awesome. All right. Thanks for your time, man. I always appreciate you showing us what you're doing here. And I know everyone else loves it as well. We had over 400 views in that last video. That's fantastic. If people haven't seen it. They need to click on that link and watch it. The guys on the uh, um, vintage rest, uh, restorations, vintage surfboards page on Facebook have uh, been watching that video as well. So I've had a lot of nice comments from those guys too. Oh, awesome. They got a bit of a plug. All right. They got a plug. And um, we get a plug, so. Yeah, awesome. All right, thumbs up. <laughs> See you, mate. See ya. It's my job to turn turds into silk purses. That's what they say, isn't it? You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear.